Fox News alert. We are awaiting remarks from President Trump. He is meeting right now with uh, business and other leaders, a roundtable event in the White House. It's called the Foreign Investment Risk Review Modernization Act. A bulky title, but uh, with the press in the room, you never know what the president might have to say. Will he speak about uh, Paul Manafort or the Michael Cohen plea deal? We don't know, but uh, the president is, uh, we expect, talking to the press, and we'll hear from him shortly. We'll have those remarks for you as soon as they become available. Now to the murder of Molly Tibbetts as her accused killer, who was in the country illegally, as we have now learned, made his first court appearance yesterday. It is a case that is sparking new calls for tougher immigration laws and a push for Congress to pass Sarah's Law. Legislative legislation named for another Iowa woman, Sarah Root, who died in a 2016 car crash involving a driver who was here illegally. Her mother talked about the case earlier this summer. When Sarah was killed January 31st of 2016, I had nobody, but I was thankful for my politicians in my area. And you know, President Trump was one of the first ones to reach out to my family. And Iowa Senator Joni Ernst, who first introduced Sarah's law in 2016, joins us now. Uh, thanks for your time this morning. This is an issue you're very passionate on. What is Sarah's law? Sarah's Law is, is in honor of Sarah Root, and we just heard her mother, Michelle, speaking there. And Michelle has been a great supporter of this initiative. What Sarah's Law would do is require the federal government, specifically ICE, to detain those that are here illegally and those that have harmed other people, whether they have maimed them or killed them, it would require their detention. What the legislation would also do is force the federal government to provide timely updates to the families of those that have been affected um, by those injuries by illegal immigrants. We think it's the right thing to do. It certainly, <clears throat> excuse me, would have certainly helped in Sarah Root's case because in that particular case, Sarah's murderer was released on bond. He was probably gone from the country before Sarah was even laid to rest. That can't happen. We need to prevent those types of actions, sounds, and that's why Sarah's it, law Senator, is important. it sounds so simple and straightforward, and I'm sure it does to many people at home, but we're all just left wondering, especially in the wake of the president's recent comments about getting anything done in Congress, can, can this pass? Can this... Can you get anything done when it comes to tougher immigration laws in Congress? Well, it certainly, Sandra, it has passed through the House. We need it to move through judiciary and onto the floor of the Senate. It is simple. It is straightforward. But unfortunately, we have a very heated argument surrounding anything that deals with immigration reform. Uh, we have to get beyond that as, uh, as politicians. We've got to focus on, on the policies that are right for the United States and, and not got, get caught up in uh, just all the, the anger and the hurt that's out there. We need to focus on good policy, mm -hmm. and I think this is good policy. A response from uh, the Iowa Democratic Party Chairman Troy Price. Um, he said this to, to Fox News. The Iowa Democratic Party is going to honor the wishes of the Tibbetts family to let them grieve in private and will not turn this, this senseless tragedy into a partisan fight. What does that tell you about Democrats in your state and how they're dealing with now, now a story much like Sarah's in the case of Molly Tibbetts? Well, unfortunately, they are letting uh, evil in the world continue. Um, we know that uh, he was an illegal immigrant. We also know that he was a stalker. So there are several different issues that need to be addressed in this particular case. It is largely about illegal immigration, but it's also about other types of violence and stalking. We need to focus on those things. If there are loopholes that exist in our system, we need to fix those. And you know what? If our immigration had been fixed and we were able to close up those loopholes, she would be with us today. Molly Tibbetts would be with us today and her family would not have to grieve. How are the people of your state doing in the wake of Molly's death? 
they are not doing well, I will be honest. Over the past month, any time an Iowan was visiting in my Washington, D.C. office, they would wonder when is Molly going to come home safely? Is she going to come home safely? We have been on pins and needles this past month, and now we have seen resolution in this past week, and unfortunately, it is not the resolution that we had hoped to see. So now we have a state that is grieving the loss of a, a beautiful, caring, loving young woman, a young woman woman who will not ever receive her diploma from the University of Iowa, a young woman that will never walk down the aisle with her father, a woman that will never experience the joys of being a mother herself someday. She has been cut forever from that life, from that path, and we have to do better. Senator Joni Ernst pushing for Sarah's law. Thank you for coming on America's Newsroom this morning. I appreciate it, Sandra. Well, let's take a look.